Hi, I'm Andy and welcome to the video for Introduction to Light Painting for Virtual Photo Club. Uh, today we're going to be having a quick look at some basics on light painting and different kind of styles that we can do and different effects we can have, so stay tuned. Okay, so first of all we're going to uh, just give you a quick overview of what actually do we mean by light painting. Um, now we posted this onto the group page the other day, um, looking for a couple of volunteers. However, when I posted it, basically said we're going to go up to the park later on tonight and do a little bit of light painting. Uh, one of the members actually asked me the other day what I had meant by that. Uh, essentially, going up to the park for a bit of light painting, like I was about to give the climbing frame a new set of emulsion. So, just a quick overview of what I actually mean by this. Light painting, or painting with light if that's easier, simply means that we're using a light source to create a, a trail with the light. So you've probably all done this at some point when you're younger or even at the, the age you are now. Uh, bonfire night, New Year's, 4th of July, whatever it happens to be, and you get a sparkler. And as soon as you get that sparkler in your hand, the first thing you do is you start waving it around and you write your name, you draw your circle, uh, figure of eight, something along those lines. And it's essentially the same thing. Now the way that we're going to capture this is by using a long exposure. So for those of you who don't know what long exposure is, it's a technique of having a longer than normal shutter speed. And essentially just means the photo is taken for a longer amount of time rather than the quick snap that you normally have. Uh, we'll go into that in a little bit more detail as we, we carry on through the video. Um, in essence, if you are looking at a light or if you're doing a video for example, I'm going to use this little example here. The light is constant, your eyes or the video is constantly refreshing so you see the light as it stands. However, in a photo, if you continue to take that photo for a longer time or a longer shutter, all that essentially happens is that light source just builds up on the sensor so it looks like it's brighter and brighter and brighter like that. And what that means is we can use that light as a trail so wherever we move that light around, the camera under the sensor on the camera is going to essentially remember where that light has gone and it's going to create some patterns. In order to get these effects we basically need a light source so anything at all something like a, a cheap little torch here it's fine it's an LED one uh, it's quite a bright one actually if you're using something like this it's very directional just be careful when you shine it into the lens directly you're going to see that you get these little light spots bouncing around and that can affect the shot. So we're going to go for something not quite as directional, it still lights up. Something as simple as again a glow stick. This is essentially a, a party toy that you got <laughs> that I can get off of Amazon. Uh, a few different light effects on this. I can get it to change, it's obviously quite a cheap one. Got a torch on one end. flashing light and there's a couple of other toys as well. Um, so that briefly explains what light painting is, what I mean by that. So now it's time to move into the setup. Now for the setup, um, obviously for the light to show through properly you need it to be quite dark and for a long exposure if you've got normal light, daylight or your normal sort of uh, light bulbs on it's just going to overexpose everything. So just to help keep things nice and dark I have here just a, a bit of backboard it's only a couple of millimetre thick, uh, black cardboard. This will work quite fine, there doesn't really give much shine. Um, it's quite handy for a lot of things, you can pick that up for about two, three pound. A couple of quid out of uh, different shops. Uh, it's uh, like so you can use it for a lot of different things as well, so I'm going to use that as the background. Uh, we'll get the camera set up on a tripod, and we'll show you that in just a sec. Okay, so for my setup here, I've just got the bit of black backboard on top of a table and camera set up on a tripod. Uh, it's on a tripod because we're doing long exposure, we just need that extra little bit of stability. Now, the reason I've got a light sitting there, I'll explain that in just a second. I'm going to come down just to my settings, just to show you what we've got. So you can 
second. There we go. Now, at the moment, I am on fully manual. I have set my shutter speed to 15 seconds. You see that just here. We'll give that a shot. Uh, the aperture we can bring down to, let's say, F9. And the ISO is currently at 1600. But we will bring that down just a little bit as well, which I can't do because I'm holding the other camera to film. So I'll do that in just a sec. But I'll bring that right down to about 200. Now, that light is there for a reason. And all I'm going to do is switch my camera onto live mode at the moment. And you can see I'm obviously outside of the frame set at the moment. Uh, I'm going to use that light to set my focus point. And because I'm going to be using that same point the whole time, all I'm going to do now is switch my lens onto manual focus. So we don't want this trying to refocus every shot. What we'll also do is just zoom it in slightly. So there's nothing out with that backboard area. Now for this, I have set up my camera just with my kit lens, uh, which is the 18 to 55 millimeter lens. Uh, just to show you that this can be done with any with any setup. Essentially, as long as you have control over how long your camera takes the shot for the actual exposure setting, uh, the shutter speed, you can have a little play about with this. So, let's just move that light and move on to the next stage. Okay, it's now incredibly dark. Um, we've obviously moved into putting the light off. i uh, still got my torch here. And so all I'm going to do is, you can see the camera roughly here, start my shot taken again. I've set the exposure time to longer this time, back to 15 seconds. And just move the torch around and you'll see the effect that we get. Again, it's going to keep it very simple, just some little circles. Okay, there's the click starting this. Let's just move this around. Okay, do this a few times. Okay, and bring it back. Let's see what we get. There you go, you can sort of make that out in the back of the camera. Just the light trails. And all it's essentially picked up is the actual light source is going round in circles. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to try a few different things and see the kind of different results that we get. Okay, let's try with the green light, just a simple swing back and forth. Okay, now we're going to try the same thing, but on a flashing mode, just to see how different it might look. Okay, we're going to introduce another new toy here. Again, just anything that lights up. It's got a few different settings, and again, this is just a cheap toy <laughs> I was able to pick up. Uh, sorry, this does have flashing lights. You can see it's got quite a few different settings, so we're going to see what we can get on the long exposure options. Okay, something else to try. This here is light up gloves, which again comes with a few different settings. Cycle through a couple just to give you an idea. And let's just see what kind of effects we get.
Okay, yeah, another little set of toys here. You can see these are finger torches. Blue, green and red. They will light up as we go. So again, let's just try something a little bit different here. Now, just how creative or weird you want to get with this is entirely up to yourself. For example, okay, and just one more toy to play with. You can pick these things up all over the place. I'm quite interested to see how this turns out. Let's find out. If at any time you don't want your uh, light to be a continuous stream, so if you're moving it from one side across to the other, it's just going to be a straight light. All you need to do is cover it up as you go. So if you do this, cover, and then do this again, you'll have a flat line, a gap, and the line will show up again. We'll show you that just to demonstrate, and then what you can do with it. Okay, so there we go. Uh, trying a few different uh, items there, a few different light sources, a few different toys, just for different effects, just to kind of see the things we can do. Um, like I say, it's a bit of fun. It's something you could do quite easily in the house. Um, even the light off your mobile phone will work just the, the same way. It will give you quite interesting results as well. So give it a shot. Uh, that's the indoor side of it. What we're going to do next is head outside and just do something quite similar just to give you again a bit of an idea of different things you can do and the different results that you can see. So, see you outside. So here we are outside, it's absolutely freezing. Uh, we've got a couple of people along the group, uh, just to give a light painting a little bit of a practice. Uh, what we're going to do first off is try and have nothing in the background at all, just purely get the light source itself. Uh, we've got a couple of different things, we've got a little torch here, we will be spinning around. And we'll see how that comes out. Right, now we're going to try something a little different here. We've got a couple of glow sticks. Now these aren't nearly as bright as the torches. Uh, so we're going to bump up the ISO. And we're going to uh, close down the aperture. I'm just going to tweak some of the settings and see what we need to get the right shots. Okay folks, that's it. Uh, the very first video for Virtual Photo Club done. This is essentially the, a virtual workshop that you can hopefully join in at home, uh, take some of the ideas that we've gone over, try a similar sort of setup at home or anything you can do, um, even if you don't have a backboard, um, anything dark as a background will probably be, well, will be quite helpful. Um, just a black tablecloth, a black bed sheet, anything at all you have will work fine. Um, just give it a shot, see how you go, change your settings as you need to, any questions at all, post them into the group and well, I will be happy to help as I'm sure other members will be as well. Thanks very much for watching, uh, hopefully this has been a bit of fun for you and you've got something out of it, a uh, little bit of learning, um, something new to try, maybe even just some ideas, something a little creative. I'm very interested to see what you come up with. So. Anything you do try, um, any photos you do take, no matter if you think they are good or bad, get them shared in the group, we'll have a look, we'll help out if we can, or just enjoy them. Okay, thank you, and see you next time. This is Andy for Virtual Photo Club. Bye.
today we're going to try something a little bit different as well. I've got a couple of glow sticks here. And we're just going to try shaking these. Now these aren't obviously nearly as bright as the torch was, which I've just broken. Right, let's try that again. 